<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between, I'm not late to this Majin release, okay? I was literally just setting up, and then the guys in Majin sent me uh, a DM on Instagram being like, Hey man, we got a new track out, and I was just like, what is the- Like, I was literally just setting up OBS to record this. So shout out to the boys, making sure I'm not fashionably late to this one, and I'm actually on time. But Majin has a new track called Transcend. And it's a lyric video, so we'll see what nasty goodness we have as far as lyrical content goes. Without further ado, I say we just get right into it. Let's get heavy. I'm gonna make sure I have this turned up, as per usual. You can't listen to Majin quietly. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We punched me in the face already? Woo! Redo! Oh. Hit me. Yes! Whoa, that's weird. Woo, the hi hat! Oh, the time signatures are going to be so much fun listening back to. Oh. Oh, that's a sick lyric. Oh, give this vocalist a raise right now. Whoa. A little fall, just a, a smidge. Ooh, that lead. Oh, oh I thought they were gonna hit me again. <laughs> I don't trust this. <laughs> I was right not to trust. Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, they didn't do it. Oh, oh, dude. I thought I was gonna get my legs swept real, real fast. Little trap part. Oh, we're gonna drop on time, aren't we? Transcend time. It, mortals could only wish. <laughs> oh, God is pissed. Whoa, this guitar tone is freaky. I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know what Ellie is, but if this is what Ellie is, I more of this, please. <laughs> Ooh, bam, bam, bam. Oh, the squeal. <laughs> That's foul. Oh, we're still going. We're too st- Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm, I don't know why this is kind of dancey. Oh. <sighs> that was disgusting. What was this part? Yeah, I gotta get the anime stuff in here. Of course, of course. Dakula. That's cool. Don't jump scare me, though. I'm watching this time. I don't want to get jump. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> what is there to say? 
other than that was just disgusting. It, filthy, nasty, putrid. I'm going to go with putrid, actually. Putrid stench. This song's putrid. It gets a putrid out of 10. 100%. Okay, let's actually get into really how I feel about the track. Uh, first of all, the lyrics are stupid, stupid sick in, in, the, in the best way possible. Um, especially the stuff about transcending time. Yeah, that, and, you know, the foul stench of decay. I wonder if the song has a bit of, like, a, a meaning of people wishing they could kind of, like, avoid the inevitability of death, but there's not a way to do that. And the song is almost like, what if you could transcend that? Like, what would that look like? And I, I, I think it might be, like, some weird, like, you're alive as a zombie and your body's decomposing, but you're mentally just as alive as ever, or something twisted. Either way, I love it. Um... The, the main thing is, I cannot wait to listen to this track over and over and over again because there's some really cool time signature stuff in here and then just some good off hits that are really fresh and like it will make it like fun to kind of listen to and like learn. Vocally, once again, I've said this before, the vocalist of this band does not get enough credit for how versatile he is and how fucking filthy his vocals are. A lot of great gutturals on Showcase here, a great use of the fundamental, uh, like, mid-range screams, some Tunnel Throat, I believe? I'm not- uh, I can't really pick out Tunnel Throat and gutturals as much as most people. I'm not a vocalist by any stretch of the imagination, but just some sick, sick proficient vocal talent on this track. And again, like, just the- the, the groove sections, like, the- the bass and the drums and the guitars are all locked in. Dude, there's one part where the guitar tone was just, like, disgusting like genty but like in a way that i've like never i could only really describe it as freaky like it's just like the way that it was mixed in was like i, I don't know if it was like scooped or like I, it, it was such a cool sound there's even one part in there that was like almost a little fall ish not quite i know i know the term fall is being thrown around a lot where it really shouldn't be but that part was like the more like the droning chords and like the crazy leads and some like weird progressive stuff in there so it kind of sort of matched without fully being in that world. This track has so <laughs> many, like, breakdown parts and, like, sludgy moments and two-step parts. Like, this is, a uh, compared to the, the other tracks that they've been releasing recently, this one is, like, the most, like, beat down, for sure. All of them have been heavy, especially, like, uh, Sleep This Away has some brutal, demonstrously disgusting parts. But this song is, like... I think it also helps that they had like the pause in there with like the transcend time. So there's a just kind of like the light before the darkness, you know, like you kind of get like the soft before the brain smashing heavy. So it kind of amped it up too. But yeah, just another fantastic release. You know, as far as uh, as singles go, these guys just kill it. Like every single time they just like release a new song and it just slaps slaps beyond belief. And I really hope that this band gets more traction because um, Especially right now with, like, Deathcore, I think these guys are doing something that's, like, really, really fresh. Bringing in, like, more, like, the gent and progressive elements in there. Although I would say Deathcore is, like, it's definitely evolving this year and a little bit of, like, the later half of last year more than it has in the last couple of years. So this is going to be a good year for Deathcore, and then these guys are 100% pushing that narrative as well. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. Uh, thank you so much to the guys at Majin for making sure that I was timely with this one. And once again, another banger. Putrid out of 10.